meeting to order. Capital Planning Committee meeting, uh, April 9th. We'd like to review the capital request presented for the Warren articles for May 3rd town meeting. First one is the HVAC upgrade at the elementary school. Additional funding requested. Okay, so we got a couple of years ago $400,000 to install air conditioning at the elementary school. We went out to bid last year and they came in around 550. So there were, there were a number of reasons we assumed they were so high. We wanted it done during the school year. You're on camera. You have to announce who you are and why you're here. I'm sorry. Chris DeJardin, school business manager. Thanks, Chris. Um, and, uh, you know, during the school year, obviously, they would have to set up and, and take everything down every day. They would have to work second shift, so we figured, okay, uh, let's go out to bid again. Hopefully, we'll get the price down uh, and have the work done in the summer. Went out to bid uh, again same price so any dis additional bidders uh, there were four uh, four bidders four actually. qualified bidders yes. okay. actually I have a, a I believe up you. here okay yeah the four qualified bidders it went out it's twice. a very handsome report oh <laughs> no offense taken um, so at this point in time there are two options we had them bid on the entire job and then on pieces of the job figuring well, if we can't do the whole job with the money we have, at least we can get part of it done and then come back later on for money for the rest of the job. Uh, and so, depending on what part of the job we do, if we do the whole job, there's one winner. If we break out a couple of pieces with the money we have available, there's a different vendor who's a winner. Um, but the problem with breaking it up is that when we have them come back, say, next year to do the rest, we have a hundred and seventy thousand dollars shortfall right now. That'll probably end up costing us over two hundred thousand. Been through this too many times to understand that that's not appropriate, and that we absolutely understand what you're saying here. Yeah. And we're also kind of a little on the ashamed side that this didn't get done when the original building was built, and we hope that we build buildings better these days and don't shortfall things like that for <coughs> uh, kids like air conditionings. Um, so it would be, if I understand correctly, Chris, and you tell me if I'm wrong that you would probably like to see if we can get the additional $170,000 which we currently have a bid for and get the entire project done once and for all. That is correct. Okay. Anybody on the board have any uh, thoughts regarding that? No, I, I, I'm all set with that. We already spent the money. We have we have 400000 of it. We need to come up with another one hundred and seventy and do the third wing of it. I'm sorry, Mr. Nyhart, would you like to offer some thoughts? When was the work, if you get the 170000 which we bid right now, which we'll give right now, when do you think that the work will start? It would start at the end of the school year. Yeah, good. Because mm -hmm. the prices are just going skyrocketing right now on every every front when, during construction. So uh, the hope is that oh, they're going to keep, keep the, the bid? Well, here's how it, it's 30 days they were holding the price. Yeah. Uh, the bid was on March 12th, so we have until April 12th. I did speak with the uh, vendor who was the low bid on the entire project, and he said that he would hold his bid price until we knew for sure if we were going to do the entire project or just a portion of it. So, I mean, you know, he had nothing to lose, obviously, by, by extending that. So. The low bid for the entire project would keep that price until we knew for sure. Were these apples to apples? Like, I mean, with mini splits, the efficiency rates are all all over the place. So they were they they all had the same same, same specs and everything to work oh, good. with. And right. uh, yeah, we actually had an outside vendor do these because mm -hmm. you know it, I took on the generator one myself, and there were questions thrown at me that I had no idea what they were talking about. So. This time we had engineers draw up the plans and write the specs for us, and it, it really worked out much better. Okay, we'll be looking at borrowing so that if it passes on town meeting floor, we have 45 days in which to go out to bid. I mean, go out to uh, vote. Yeah, so that would put us beyond where the school needs to be, so this would be borrowing within the levies. So we would vote at a town meeting, and if it 
if the voters approved it, then we would go out to borrow right away without a follow-up ballot vote. Okay, so we're within the levy there. Yeah. Yes. And Linda has some targets in mind as to how much debt service within the levy we we normally carry. <coughs> what's our what's our opening now? What's our space available? Uh, we spend. Um, we, ha we spend about $150,000 uh, to $160,000 a year within the levy on, on debt and interest payments. And um, the flexibility we have are the uh, payments, the borrowings that are now being paid back within the bands as opposed to the ones that are permanent in the permanently in the loan, um, the bonds. And so by spreading out uh, some of the payments, we can we can do this and stay within that one hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year of payments. Gabriel, you're here, I assume, on behalf of the finance committee as well. Do you have any thoughts regarding this spending? More just curious about the history, just to what happened originally and why the upgrades to you now or why it was a fully funded at the time. Uh, at the uh, when the building was built twenty four years ago, um, it was cut out of the uh, thought process to have the air conditioning put in there and more to the point what I was trying to make is while we have new buildings that we're looking at building now or when 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 the state funds did they fund up to 56 or was it 62 percent of that 62 percent of that could have been paid if we had left it in there originally when the building was being built now on our entire dime five hundred seventy thousand dollars is going to be spent to air conditioning building that we fully knew needed to be air conditioned when it was built so it was left-handed, but that's where I was heading with it. Mr. McCretzky, how are you this evening? Good. Sorry I'm late. You're not late, sir. We started right on time, so. <laughs> <laughs> he was late. We're, we're at this point in time in the initial uh, thought process. We're discussing the school department's um, $170,000 for a borrow within the levy, as uh, Linda just explained to us. Um, that's for the third leg. Well, how it was originally explained to me was the third letter of the air conditioning. The uh, the town went to town meeting and approved four hundred thousand dollars to put air conditioning in for the the grammar school. Uh, unfortunately, when it was gone out to bid, it came back at five seventy. Uh, it went out a second time, came back again at five seventy. So five seventy is the number um, that we're working with at this point in time. The um, at this point, Mr. Jardin D. Jardin explained to us that we're one hundred seventy thousand dollars short of being able to fully fund the entire project for the school um, and is asking for the support of, uh, of our committee to uh, see about getting the additional $170,000 for the funding. Is that in a nutshell? That's correct. Yes. Okay. So um, that's where we are. Again, Linda explained that we'd be going uh, out, that we have enough money within the levy to, to go out and borrow this money. And uh, at this point in time, I am just waiting for a recommendation or a motion, motion of the uh, second. It's been motioned and seconded. Any further discussion? So for the clarity of the record, that is to borrow $170,000 within the levy for yeah, this project. That is correct. Okay. No, I'm sorry. That is your motion. You never gave me a chance. <laughs> further, yes, discuss further discussion. No, no, okay. no. All right. Any further discussion regarding the project? Yeah, just really quick. Was that figure again on how much it would cost additionally if we did pieces now and then came back later to finish it? Well, we don't actually have that. We would have to go out to bid again for that portion of the project. What I've been told by the vendors is, you know, if we come back to do the rest of it, it's not going to be the amounts that we told you as part of the whole project. It's going to be a whole new project. and. And there's no. It would seem highly unlikely that the price would go down, considering they, you know, they haven't in the, in the year since the last bid that we went out. So, gotcha. Any kind of like ballpark, just so if we're defending this on town meeting floor, and they ask, why don't you do part now, part later? We could say, ten thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand. Yeah, the the one vendor that I spoke with, just you know, and again, this was just tossing out a number, obviously, but he he said it would probably cost over two hundred thousand dollars to to come back and do the rest of the job. Gotcha. What is the uh, timeline on this project? The project would start right at the end of the school year and would continue through the summer and be ready for the beginning or opening. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Linda, any further questions? Yeah. Have a motion on the floor, motion it and second it. All those in favor, please signify by saying the word aye. 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 That is unanimous. Four to one vote. 
Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Do you have any other business before us this evening you'd like to accomplish? I have a school committee meeting at 5 30. I have to run over. Oh, well, <laughs> then, then tell them it took us a long time to get to the vote. <laughs> thanks, Chris. Appreciate okay, it. Thank you guys very much. Let them know that we uh, supported their motion. Okay, we'll know. Thanks. Just go a little bit out of out of uh, order here. Uh, the DPW director, Mr. Marlon Warner, is here this evening. Um, the Route 9 school zone lighting. Um, we're looking for thirteen thousand dollars in free cash. Mm -hmm. David and Marlon was here. We went a little bit out of order and we went to the DPW and Highway Division. Sure. Okay. Okay. We have two existing uh, flashing beacon lights uh, in protecting. Hopkins Academy here on Route 9. Uh, one of them no longer exists. It actually rotted off uh, the post this winter. Uh, they were they were powered by electricity with, with their own meters uh, attached to the poles. Um, Non-use, it was about $36 a month um, just to have them out there. Um, so after that one had failed, I went up and looked at the second one up near the American Legion, and that one's about to uh, be on its way also. I think they've been out here probably 30, 40 years. I don't know how many years. But, um, so I decided I'd look into solar power. Number one, we don't have to deal with uh, you know the power um, and, and the meters that are on these poles. Um, so to sum it up in a nutshell, I'd like to replace both of them. Um, to be clear, they're not going to have speed limit 20s on them. Um, doesn't fit the criteria to, to back it down to 20 miles an hour down here in front of Hopkins because there's not a crosswalk directly in front of the school. But again, these are flashing beacons to warn people. It'll say school zone to, to slow down in the area of the school. That's what they, they, they do now. So. This was a, re a recommendation regarding the DOT, correct? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Would there be any electricity hooked in? Electricity no, there's going to be like a backup? <clears throat> no, the new one, it's, it's battery powered. Okay. It's solar, and there'll be a backup battery. Uh, completely solar powered. How reliable are they? Pretty reliable. Yeah. I, I, we, we put some speed limit, uh, <coughs> a few of these speed limit, same type of design and in Greenfield, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago, and they're still running on the same batteries. Okay. Uh, so if you hit like four cloudy days in December, it's still going to run. The battery's supposed to kick in, and then when the sun comes back out, it recharges the battery and operates it. And they're also, they're programmable, so they're not going to run all the time, you know, when we program them so that it's within like a half an hour, whatever the time frame may be before school starts oh, and yeah. before it ends. So they're not gonna run 24 seven, I don't believe. I mean, uh, depends how we wanna set them up. Now, we just got done redoing that section of Route 9. The section of Route 9 where the second one's getting done on is coming online shortly. Is there no responsibility of the state DOT to help us with this project? Um, it's to my understanding, no. I looked up some history on this of, of in the past. Uh, same with the elementary school at one time was gonna install these. Um, again, it didn't fall under the criteria for a school zone 20 mile an hour, so they're basically on, on, on us okay. for the safety of the, the kids in the school. Um, I do have to file a permit through MassDOT um, to, to install the new ones. So. Is there a motion? I move that we approve of this uh, article. Second. Any further discussion? The article has been moved and seconded to fund via the free cash the $13,000 expense to uh, put up the Route 9 school zone lights. Further about, discussion? Yeah, about $32,000 of free cash. This is the only request that I see regarding free cash this evening. Uh, on capital, yes. Which is the only thing we're worried about here this evening. Okay, there's a motion and a second on the floor. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, it's a unanimous vote. It's a four zip vote. Linda, did you have any? No, oh, that's fine. I'm very sorry for my. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marlowe. Fire Department is not here this evening. There's an $855,400 borrowing article, which I understand that they are trying to put together a meeting for this week. Mm -hmm. At this point, we have no information regarding that, so it would be my uh, idea to pass over that until we set, receive some recommendation from that committee. Would that be acceptable to the members this evening? I'll go along with that. Okay. 
and uh, the select board is looking for to redesign a website. It's five thousand dollars, and they're asking for the money to come from capital stabilization. Um, Mr. Administrator, uh, what would be uh, adjusted to the website, and how would it be better for the citizens of the town of Hadley? Well, about seven or eight years ago, we uh, developed a website for the town of Hadley, uh, and uh, so we have something that's seven or eight years old in terms of use, in terms of its uh, ease of use, in terms of its ability to communicate. It's limited. Uh, we have limited access by the departments to manage their part of the, uh, the website. The, the work for managing the website therefore falls on one or two individuals. They can't keep up, so if you go to our website at www.hadleyma.org, you'll look at uh, various departments where there's no information uh, entered in there. So we would like to upgrade the, and, and so one of the effects of that is that some departments have decided to go on their own for website design. And so. We, the town of Hadley actually has several websites, and this is not good for communication or coordination. Uh, it's not easy to use, it needs to be updated, and we have a price for $5,000 to upgrade it. Hadley Media is one of those, and it's a separate website. Type of information is available on there police department information, fire department information, mm -hmm. billings, when right. the buildings are due. What other information? Availability uh, for alerts, our town. emergency alerts, uh, the important town news, the community calendar, the meetings calendar, uh, information about town meeting, the budget is on there, uh, other financial information is on there, assessor stuff is on there big time. They've got their GIS uh, data layer. It's excellent. You know, so I'm, you know, we're no slouches, but we could be doing so much better with. Five thousand dollars is the quoted price. It's great. Yeah, it's it's Joining us this evening is Amy Feiden Kevitz, another member of the better. finance committee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if you, Gabriel, would like to weigh in on, on uh, your feelings regarding uh, that expenditure. I think it's a very big plus. I think okay. it's what it's something that's needed. I mean, we've been talking about IT quite a bit, so if there's anything we can get started on, I think that's a good thing. It's excellent. So the plan is as it, this brings all the departments back under the fold of one mm -hmm. centrally managed website. Mm -hmm. And then does this price include work to update all the sites that need new information, new content, or whatever? Or is that going to fall from really does, staff? It does include that, uh, that work, but it also gives us a website that the department heads themselves can manage their, their pages on. So a much easier format to use, a much more intuitively obvious. Gotcha. I may, it is a bit cumbersome going in myself, you know, when I put an emergency alert out there, something the water main break, it is pretty cumbersome to get in there and, and surf around and change things and put things in the way it is now, a bit, a bit aged. So. And that'll go away? That'll go away. You promise? <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> What's the current balance in the capital stabilization fund? Uh, that's uh, we have about fifty seven hundred dollars. This is prior to the five thousand. Yes. So we typically in the fall town meeting we transfer a bunch of free cash into the capital stabilization, and so the balance of fifty seven hundred dollars is the leftovers from the last fall town meeting, where we were buying a bunch of equipment with was capital stabilization cash. I think I hear Mr. McCretzky saying that if we were to spend that $5,000 that it would leave you with zero. And how much is left in a free cash account? 32000 Okay. So Mr. McCresky, do you have concerns that if we spend this at the uh, Springtown meeting that uh, it should a need arise uh, for a $5,000 expenditure, maybe it would be better to put it off for the fall or well, I, I think it's a good expenditure, however, we are getting somewhat lean if we're close to zero already. And uh, I, can, I guess kind of a follow-up question, uh, I know the meals tax uh, that we used to collect, that used to always go into that. Is that no longer the case then? Or? Well, well we, uh, we transfer, we try to transfer an amount equivalent to the meals tax for several years running. That amount has been 
decreasing because we've been using money for other purposes. This year, this past year, we had this windfall, and so we were able to capture just about all of that meals tax and put it into, into free cash. And then we spent it at the same meeting. And then you spent on, it on the capital artists. On capital artists. Which meant we didn't need to borrow right. um, for new items in the fall. Right. That was usually our game plan on this committee here, where we used to use that money for the smaller yeah. capital items. So will mm -hmm. there be a replenishment again this fall? That's the plan. Okay. I've, Good. Just, I've actually started working Thank on the warrant for the special town meeting, and it's one of the articles. Any estimate as to how much that might be? I know it's kind of early in the game. It's been in excess of 300000 now for a couple yeah, of years. Running. It's very early to say what that number is, but that would be the target we would try to reach for. It's going up. Keep going out to eat. <laughs> New hotels being built for that end as well. Okay, so again, I think we'll direct that comment to the Finance Committee and see if there's a recommendation. I know that you don't have a quorum here this evening, but we, we would certainly like your input to understand if you think that $5,000 is what, it, as great a, an expense as it is, if it's well spent at this point in time, leaving us a mere balance of $700, we still have, again, in the free cash, it'll be in excess of 32000 That's after the thirteen is spent that we've requested here uh, this no, evening. 32000 is before you spend the thirteen. Okay, so we're going to have about, yeah, upon our recommendation this evening, there'd be approximately 20000 in free cash and only 700 left. And I have no me. objection to spending it on a free cash rather than capital stabilization. I, I, I don't think that there that's even been discussed. I think what we're trying to figure out is whether or not that leaves us uh, hanging as far as there being not really a, a decent amount of money available should the need arise or something else. Mm -hmm. You're going to have $20,700 if we, if we accept the stock processes this evening. To go six months. Please. And you're going for six months. And how much do we have in our account of the uh, reserve, finance reserve? You've spent about uh, uh, a third of that, so you were, you were at 40000 so I think that you're at uh, probably twenty to $25,000 remaining in, the, in that finance committee reserve, mm -hmm. not counting the two reserves that you can, three reserves that you control for the enterprise funds. And well, I was just thinking if we did need to use that, I mean, if something did come up. That's available as well. Right. I mean, I know we used it last year for the um, <coughs> planning board for a piece of equipment, like Eight the scanner. For the scanner yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. So I, I think that we could look at um, something else if, if something arose that we absolutely needed. Well, that's that certainly leaves you a lot closer to $50,000 for a problem if you ran into it than you would at 20000 So. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad to hear that as well. Okay, is there a recommendation? I recommend it. We is there spend, a second? We spent 5000 And the recommendation is within capital stabilization account, yep. not free cash. Okay. I'll second it. Been motion and seconded. Any further discussion regarding the spending of $5,000 for the REB site redesign taken from state capital stabilization? Again, $5,000 recommended by the select board. Seeing none, I'd like to call for a, mo for a uh, vote. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. that's a unanimous vote, four to zero. Thank you. And uh, we very much appreciate everybody's hard work. I believe that brings to a close this evening's. Tim's here for some. I'd like to bring up something, if I may. I don't see anything that it's been listed on our agenda to be brought up. Is there something that was on the agenda that we, that I missed that should have been a part of it? Well, under other businesses. Oh, okay. I, uh, the reason I'm sitting here is uh, one of the things that's been postponed quite a number of years has been the replacement of the car that I use for inspection services. Again, it's been postponed again until the fall. Uh, last year, just to give you a little bit of history, I, I was fortunate enough uh, to get a marquee from Mike Hearn back in 2008 to replace the car I had. 
and he graciously sold it to this town for a very low amount of money for $4,800. I used that car, we were trying to get it through last year, but unfortunately it did not uh, make it through and nor did it could pass inspection. So um, Marlo had to take it off the road. In the meantime, I was using my personal car and Marlo was able to take two cruisers and make one cruiser for me. Uh, that was back in January. Uh, the thought was that um, we could come back at this time through Capitol and get a, another car. And that didn't happen because of whatever. I don't know because nobody discussed it with me. But I'm here to say, can we put this on for a fall town meeting? This, the car that I have right now, and Marlo can attest to it, again, it was put, it was two cars put together as one, the old cruisers. It's not going to last much longer. Uh, need another car somehow. Okay, and it really needs to be brought up. And Marlo has certainly suggested that it be replaced, go through um, the, the state system and purchase a car through them. Does anybody have any reservations to reviewing this again in the fall? Should the car be needed? I mean, well, the finance oh, committee. Well. Makes sense. Finance committee? Okay. okay. Tim, I believe we've heard what you've said. Thank and, you. Uh, understood because that. Because it's been put off for quite a number of years here. Yeah, you right, a lot, a lot of junkers. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, the little story with that is we we actually have been weeding out a lot of the stuff down the yard, as you all know, Jerry. Mm -hmm. uh, we did, uh, it wasn't exactly pull two cars all apart and make one, but we, we, we took the best one we had, uh, you know, took a few parts off, and, and we made it a reliable car, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, we have another one down there we're, we're running that I'd like to ship down the road, and then Obviously, the one Tim's using would be the, the meter reader car, the backup vehicle uh, for us down there. Uh, so that's where we're at. We're, we've weeded out all the stuff down there pretty much. I got one more list, but uh, we're in good shape. But we're at the end of the, the, the cruiser. So. so I have a uh, town hall staff vehicle here for 30000 Is that the price we're looking at? Okay. We're looking at something similar to a you know, small SUV, four wheel drive. Similar to what I'm driving now. Uh, come on, we buy yours at sixty thousand. When we buy his, it's thirty. Mine was twenty-six. Then I turned four thousand back. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Jerry. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> any further discussions? Any further business before us this evening? I don't think so. I showed the uh, bond council borrowing articles. He's happy with all the motions and the articles. Excellent. I'd like to remind everybody that tomorrow is voting day. Please go out and vote. We would appreciate everybody being involved with the system. Um, this will be my last meeting that I chair for you. I just want to thank everybody for, for working with you. Uh, the, there'll be another select board member probably here before too long. Uh, some new ones that are coming up in line. But I appreciate everybody's hard work. I know it's another meeting that, that everybody gets to, like myself, but needs to be done. And I want to thank well, everybody for making it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. You're a great yeah. chairman. We Appreciate it having you on board. I appreciate it. You've done a lot of good work for the town under your leadership. Thank wow, you very I'm not much. Sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Appreciate it.